However, achieving this transformation towards deep skills and innovation will require more than new programs or a higher take-up of government incentives. We need a different motivation in our society. Our economic and social culture must change. First, as individuals, we have to view the education that we get when we are young as but the starting point of a journey of personal learning and self-renewal throughout our lives. Whichever the job, we must want to master what we do and get, gain satisfaction from it. We must also develop a culture of mentoring where individuals who have developed expertise and experience share their knowledge and passion with others at their workplaces, in the community, at education centres. Second, as employers. Employers must recognise what the best companies have found, that people are their biggest opportunity. Every employer must look for the potential in their, pe pe their people and put time and effort into developing this potential with them. It also means looking out for mid-career Singaporeans who are temporarily dislocated and helping them to get back in, get retrained where necessary and contribute their worth. And it matters too, matters greatly too, when employees are empowered. The most innovative companies find that ideas come from people across the enterprise, whether for an improved workflow, a new colour or design, or a better way to reach customers' hearts. There is a third way in which our culture must change. In industry, we need a new collaborative culture to take Singapore skills to a much higher level. We do not have the long tradition of collaboration in countries like Germany and Switzerland, where in fact it start, started with the medieval guilds, where companies join forces to develop skills for the whole industry. We don't have that long tradition. We have to develop our own tradition and find practical means to deepen collaboration industry by industry. It will be especially critical to developing capabilities among our SMEs who on their own often lack the capacity to attract and train people. It will take time to develop a new economic and social culture. Neither can we, within a few years, develop the deep pools of expertise that we need, transform our enterprises, and achieve innovative breakthroughs in every sector. But we can only get to where we want in the long term by taking steps now, moving ahead relentlessly, and never thinking that the status quo will get us to a better place.